guys. Welcome, everyone. It's Cannabis News. I'm your host, Joe Clare. It is March 22nd, 2019. The end of another week here at the Marijuana Times. The end of a particularly long day for me. So if I make any mistakes during this episode, that is why. Very little sleep. Been up since 5 o'clock this morning. But I'm here, as always, bringing the cannabis news to you. Because that is what I do. Today we're talking about the medical marijuana smoking ban going kaput in Florida. That's right, I said kaput. You blame that on the lack of sleep also. Uh, as promised yesterday from yesterday's show, New Jersey's landmark legalization, it's on its way. That's right. New Jersey, at some point, is going to vote on legalizing recreational adult use marijuana. We'll see if that happens. Also, we'll talk about wooden bong. That's right. That's what I'm going to tell you. Just wooden bong. You have to wait for the rest. All that, as I said, is coming up. First, of course, Cannabis News is brought to you by NatureSide, nature-side.com, and their organic, all-natural pesticides. Make sure you go check them out if you're growing cannabis in a state where it is legal. Make sure you are you are regulatory compliant. You're growing safe and poison-free. You're not using harmful chemicals because people will be ingesting what you are growing. So make sure that you go check out NatureSide, nature-side.com, a proud sponsor of Cannabis News. This first story, by yours truly at MarijuanaTimes.org. Medical marijuana smoking ban repealed in Florida two years after the legislature in Florida inexplicably enacted a ban on smoking medical marijuana, a ban that was not mentioned in Amendment 2, which passed with 71% of the vote in November 2016. There's no mention of a smoking ban. There's no need for a smoking ban. There's no smoking ban implied in the measures that the legislature took it on itself to ban smoking medical marijuana. The governor of the time, Rick Scott, it was for it. The new governor, Ron DeSantis, is against it. He told the legislature to uh, get rid of it and that he was going to leave the lawsuit uh, the state of Florida was in, battling over the smokable medical marijuana ban. So they did that, and he signed the ban, a uh, repeal on the ban. Uh, in a statement that accompanied the signing of the legislation, he said, quote, over 70% of Florida voters approved medical marijuana in 2016, as I just mentioned. I thank my colleagues in the legislature for working with me to ensure the will of the voters is upheld. Now that we have honored our duty to find a legislative solution, I have honored my commitment and filed a joint motion to dismiss the state's appeal and vacate the lower court decision which had held prior law to be unconstitutional, the leaving the legal case that I just mentioned as well. So congratulations to the people in Florida. There's some movement forward in a lot of cases. That's really, oh, that's as good as it's going to get. I mean, speaking of as good as it's going to get, New Jersey, from WHYY.org, this is what New Jersey's landmark medical marijuana, this is what's in New Jersey's landmark medical marijuana bill. If you want to check out the whole story and everything that's in the bill, all the stories I talk about on the show are linked in the description of the video in which... They are discussed. This out of New Jersey, as I said, quote, well, the story says, adult use, so you can tell my brain, is misfiring just a little because of the lack of sleep. Adult use marijuana legalization is likely to be voted on by the entire state legislature as soon as next week. Uh, but since the bill was finalized, uh, many lawmakers are concerned they haven't been given enough time to thoroughly digest and assess its major points. What's more, this measure is the first of its kind in the country, and if it passes, could become model legislation for other states looking to legalize and set up a functioning cannabis economy. I like that turn of phrase. There's already a functioning cannabis economy. It's everywhere. It already exists. So to do, jump all, through all these hoops and go through all this trouble to create an economy that already exists is a bit weird. The current proposal was released hurriedly from committee and comes in at 100 and 76 pages. That's right. 176 pages with accompanying medical and expungement bills. The entire package comes close to 300 pages. What could it possibly say for 300 pages? That's a good size novel. 300 pages. You know what goes into a novel, what the stories that can be told in a novel, the arc, how big the arc, the character arcs can be in a novel. Well, I don't know if there's character arcs in this marijuana legalization bill, but there's room for them. 
I mean, I imagine the beginning, the protagonist, you know, you have the protagonist, and by the end, he's gone undergone some major change by the end of the 176 pages. Don't you think? Doesn't that make a good story? I just don't It's so difficult. They act like it's so difficult. Uh, all three of these bills are complicated, say Senator Kip Bateman. Um, so this is going to really change the dynamics in New Jersey. Do you really think we can digest this? Meaning the, the, the large bill. Well, the bill needs to be smaller. But in any case, how long has this been talked about? How long have I been talking about legalization in New Jersey? Well over a year. Well over a year. And the, some of the people who are involved, they say, the new time for talk is over. We've discussed this for a year. Let's move on. Uh, Senator Nicholas Scutari said marijuana prohibition has failed. It's time to end the detrimental effect this archaic, these archaic drug laws are having on our residents and make adult use marijuana legal. I don't know. Will they? We'll see. <clears throat> I'm not holding my breath anymore. It comes to New Jersey and uh, adult use legalization. Like I said, it's been a long time. And if it happens, well, I'll tell you about it. And if it doesn't, I'll tell you about that too. And I just, I'll just keep covering it. I'm not going to make any predictions. None of that. <clears throat> There's my voice. This is the end of the week. It's uh, bailing as well. So let's get to the last story from abc.net.au out of Australia. Artist carves out plan for big wooden bong for the town of Wooden Bong. That's right. Paul Pearson makes bongs. Devices commonly used to smoke cannabis, although his creations are ornamental artworks rather than functional. I've always had an interest in bong making and art. I've been doing it all my life, he said. I've made them out of dolls, plastic lobsters, vases, exhaust pipes, everything. But when Mr. Pearson moved to Wooden Bong, northwest of Lismore and just south of the Queensland border, he decided to try making wooden bongs. Normally they wouldn't be made out of wood because of water rot, he said. You don't see a lot of wooden bongs. You see a lot of glass silicone bongs. Obviously, uh, he built one bong that stood at one and a half meters, but he had an even bigger goal that he wanted to bring, uh, would believe would bring droves of tourists to the rural community. I believe people from all over the world share my dream. I envision a giant wooden bong taller than the big Merino in Goldburn. Those are Australian references that I am completely unaware of. Tourism is our only option for survival in this dying village. As you can imagine, reactions are mixed. He started a petition to gain support for the idea, which includes a giant wooden bong with a tourist information center underneath. <laughs> uh, get the bull elder and wooden bong local Gloria Williams said the town's name was adapted from the local indigenous word Nagadugung Bunj. Some interpret that as meaning duck on water. The Miss Williams said it has been told... It says she has been told it meant, quote, place of the platypus. The name Wooden Bong has nothing to do with a bong, she said. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, the town's Wooden Bong. He must build a giant Wooden Bong. I guess it does make some semblance of sense, but a lot of the uh, locals are not happy about it. So we'll see. If it happens, we may bring you an update on this someday. We may not. I don't know. We'll see. If an update comes before me, I'll bring it to you. Keep you abreast of the developments in the Wooden Bong saga out of Wooden Bong, Australia. Thanks, everybody, for checking us out. We'll see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Thank you to NatureSide, nature-side.com, and their organic, all-natural pesticides. They are awesome. Go check them out. Check us out on YouTube. Subscribe. Almost 2,000 subscribers. We're also on Apple Podcasts. There's some marijuana times on there for the audio version of the show. Thank you for watching and listening and sharing and commenting and liking and all that stuff. We'll see you next week right here on Cannabis News.